The following video is sponsored by PowerPoint. No, just kidding. I'm just a lousy video editor. Anyway, we're going to talk about a topic that nobody seems to cover. And I've been asked a thousand questions, whether it's on Spectrum, Reddit, or in-game chat, what a beacon is, how to use a beacon, and why to use a beacon. Oh, there's, this is going to be a joke about jumping into the topic, but I, I missed the cue. So we're just going to roll right into personal transport beacons. They are used to transport your person. They are extremely handy. A lot of bugs in the game. If you get separated from your ship during quantum, which is still a common thing in 3.22.1. If you get soft death in space and you need to ride back. If you drop out of your ship, if you land your ship somewhere and it becomes inoperable. It's just an easy way to get someone to come pick you up. It used to be handy for taking you to your ship if you lost track of it, but that no longer works as of 3.21 and still hasn't been fixed as of 3.22.1. Anyway, this is how you create one. You're going to go into F1, Contracts, go up to Beacons, and over to Create Beacon. And then there are only three types of beacons to choose from, so you're going to pick Personal Transport and go through the arduous process of picking a destination. Really, I, I, I do hope this is upgraded for 3.23 whenever that comes out. It's March 14th today, so I don't know when. But you'll pick a destination. You can ignore the rep thing. That doesn't do anything. And set your amount. You can put zero, and I promise someone will come pick you up. There's a lot of helpful people in Star Citizen. This is what it's going to look like to the rest of the server. Just so you see, someone will pick it up and they'll be on their way. Next, we have rescue beacons, which are arguably the easiest beacons to use because all you have to do is die and hold one button down. So while you're looking at that black and gray purgatory, a message is going to pop up in the bottom of your screen that says, hey, you can commit suicide and start all over again. Claim your ship, get all your gear... Wait and run and trams and transit and bugs and desync and whatever. Or you could just sit tight for a moment. You know, grab a cup of coffee, take a leak. And someone will be on their way out to get you for 15000 bucks, Which is remarkably cheap. This is what it'll look like to every other player. They'll grab it and they'll be on their way. So... This isn't going to be a video about how to respond to beacons, but if you take a player's beacon, you have to remember that they are waiting in real time on the other side. This is the only mechanic in the game where a player is waiting on somebody else. Do not dilly-dally. If you have a slow ship, if you aren't geared up, don't make someone wait unnecessarily you grab the beacon get off your ass get in your ship and blast off make best speed to that person because you don't want to wait and nobody else should have to wait either so just be aware of that if you're new maybe tag along with somebody for the first few to get a, a feel for it you know feel for upgrading your ship and and just making sure that you can provide the best possible experience for another player that's seeking help Next beacon we're going to cover is the medical assistance beacons. These are a catch-all for a variety of things. I, if you don't know what you need help with, or you have an obscure situation, put up a medical assistance beacon and then explain to someone in chat. Hopefully they fix chat that's currently bugged in 3.22.1 and a real pain in the ass to use. But if your ship has taken off without you because maybe you left your engines on. Someone can come out and push your ship to the ground or carry you up to your ship. You don't have to backspace. You don't have to relog or anything like that. If you were stuck on a cliff face and you can't go up and going down means certain death, someone can come bring a ship, lower their ramp, and help you out. If you forget a helmet, if you forget a multi-tool, if you're all the way out there, ready to do the mission you set out to do, set up a, a medical assistance beacon and explain in chat. Someone will bring you those items, I guarantee it. 
if you get stuck in a weird situation, like Mav here in their snub fighter in the whatever this is, the constellation. What of a medical assistance beacon? Which, by the way, the solution to this is flying their ship someplace to get it impounded. Just make sure they have a helmet on if you impound them at a space station because it's going to drop you into space and then they're going to die. Another solid use for them. If you're low on drink, low on food, somebody has a medical ship, or even can just bring you those items to top you back off, send up a medical assistance beacon. Type in chat. Let people know what you need. There's a lot of bugs, as we know, a lot of desync issues. If you get stuck in the mesh, or stuck in a chair, or stuck in any other way, these are the beacons that will get you out of that. There's no point in starting all the way back to where you began when you set out for this session's objective and, 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 and playtime. There's more solutions than you think and you might even find it neat to be a part of that that process. Also, other people tend to hop in and try to help as well if they're in the area, which is a pretty unique thing to Star Citizen's community that you may not notice if you're just going by Spectrum and Reddit as a litmus test for how people are. Sorry, a few technical difficulties there. The dog started barking. A leaf outside probably fell off of a tree and they had to sound the alarm about it. Let's get back to... Beacons, though. F1, contracts, go up to beacons, head over to create beacon. And our second type of beacon here is medical assistance. There is no destination. Rep, again, is not a thing. And set your amount, broadcast the beacon. It'll go out like the other ones across the server. Now, escort beacons. The first thing you need to know about these is they pay by the minute. So if you don't have a lot of money, do not put in 75,000, 1 million, whatever. Once that person gets into the radius of that beacon, it will start paying them by the minute. This is the closest thing we have to, say, a combat assistance beacon. So I panicked in this footage. I dropped out of Quantum trying to pick up somebody in space, and I got jammed and a bunch of NPCs were on me. I can't dogfight for shit. So I immediately hopped in there to try to make a quick escort beacon. Unfortunately, someone grabbed it immediately, took off, got out there, and saved my space ass. So there's all you need to know about escort beacons. I don't really have much of a place right now. Final thoughts. Let's see here. A lot of people don't know what these are. And hopefully, if you are one of those people, you're a little bit more well-versed now. You can use these safely. There's a lot of hoopla on Spectrum and Reddit that beacons are traps. Yes, you're going to come across the odd instance where someone steals your pants, shoots you in the face. That's a very rare occurrence and is highly over exaggerated do not worry use the beacons the star citizen community is extremely helpful you'll be all right